So let me start with another personal question today. Has any one of you been to Rome yet? Please raise your hand. Uh, yeah, a couple of people have been to Rome. So for those of you who have not been to Rome, Imagine, imagine you go on a journey. Imagine you are planning a romantic trip to Rome. What do you do? You go online, you go for pictures, you look for pictures and you find pictures like that, serene pictures, calm pictures, like with a sunset, it looks all so nice. And you think about, like, which place should I go to? So maybe you think about the Colosseum or the Peterstone, right? And uh, imagine yourself in a restaurant and you already smell the pizza, you have the candle on the table and you already can taste the coffee. You're so excited, you get on the plane, you land at the airport, you go into a cab or you drive yourself and boom, you're stuck into traffic. So, <laughs> well, this is like just only one example. And uh, if you're driving yourself in Rome, I, I don't know if anybody of you has experience like driving in Rome, that's even worse. And also finding a parking spot in Rome is a nightmare. And Rome actually is just only an example for any big city. And we've talked about that yesterday and we've talked about that today already. It's. Um, Traffic is getting worse and worse. But it's not like that only since yesterday. It has been like that for years, like even decades. And uh, that's the reason why we at Daimler don't only build nice cars, but we have a long time already put our heads around how to make people's life easier in the city, how to ease urban life. So that was the reason why we came up with that little guy here. It's called an Eco Sprinter, and that was 1993 already. So this car, you see, it's, it's short. It reminds yourself already of a little smart. It, uh, it has, um, it's done out of eco-friendly material, and uh, most importantly, it has an electric motor. So in 1993, that, um, in 1994, it was exhibited in Atlanta at the Olympic Games, and people were crazy about that. They, they really liked it. So we were like, OK, we probably should do like a small little car. And in 1998, the first smart car was produced. So we had a vision. We had a plan. We're like, yes. But you know, everybody has a plan until all of a sudden, boom, you get hit in the face, right? And I guess everybody of you knows that, like you have a great idea, you go forward. And we had a great idea, we did all those researches, right? So we knew there's only 1.2 people sitting in the car when they're doing a ride. We knew that people in the city is, are only like maximum going 30 kilometers a day. So we did all this research and also we knew that it's like you need a very small car to find a parking space, right? And the, the ones who saw smarts already, especially in Rome, they can, you, you know, you can turn sideways and find a parking spot really easily. But then, of course, not everything went well for us, right? So we had to we had to like face problems and we had to face comments like, is that a car? Are you sure? A real car has four seats, right? It has two seats. And in Germany, people were like, ooh, that's so, such a small car. I don't want to go on the Autobahn with that. I'm really scared, right? And some people even called us an elephant roller skate. Can you believe that? That was not really nice. But when you get a punch like that, you have two choices, right? You can either stay on the ground and say, OK, nice idea, uh, we tried it, we're going to stop it, people maybe don't like it. Or you get up, you have your vision, you believe in your vision, and you find ways around to succeed. And that's why I'm really happy to show you today and to announce that from the beginning of 2020, 
smart is going to be fully electric. So 30 years after we had that first idea of an electric car, and back then maybe the industry was not ready yet, and there were no plugs on the street, and there were no charging um, possibilities on the street. Now we decided with the next generation of the smart, with a facelift, we will go fully electric. And we are the first automotive manufacturer in the world who exchanged the combustion engine against the electric powertrain across the board from a brand. So that's really consequent, I'd say. But our smart is not only electric, it is also connected. So that gives a whole range of new possibilities, right? So we were thinking about what can we do with that service box we have in the car that you know from car to go so there's more possibilities than just open and close the car. So we founded in 2015 the Smart Lab that I'm a proud member of. It's great people thinking out of the box and we came up with awesome so-called smart services. And if you want to know more about those smart services, we're happy to answer your questions after the talk and also the explainer outdoors. Maybe you saw that little illuminated smart and also our smart car outside. So come visit us and we talk to you about the smart services. Um, I just want to highlight one that's ready to share. We talked about it. Share economy is growing, right? So we have the possibility now, like if someone owns a car and has that service box, he can share his smart with his family and friends, friends which, which is like a really nice opportunity, right? And also, like coming from those private services, we came up now with a closed community car sharing service, which is called Smart Fleet Share. So talking about like, I think we talked about a magic wand before, I don't know, but sometimes you wish you had a magic wand, right? You wish you had a magic wand and make your vision, like, come instantly. And maybe the world would, would be like that if you had a magic wand. So this is a picture of our pioneering colleagues at Daimler, how the future looks like in 2036. So this is how we can imagine. That's a f very famous place in Stuttgart, actually. So there's a, l a, a lot of details on that picture, quite, n quite nice. Um, also, if you're interested in that, we can talk about that maybe later. But that actually shows we do have, again, a vision. We live with our heads today in the future already. But since we don't have this magic wand, we need to find projects and we need to find ways to go in this direction. And this is what Yara actually talked about when she announced me. It's a project that is currently being built in Berlin. It's called Future Living Berlin. This is in Berlin Adlershof. It's a little, it's 15 minutes outside of Berlin and residents are moving in in January 2020. And this is actually another, it's a European lighthouse project where for the first time, different companies are partnering before that building is even done. So there is companies like Schindler, like Panasonic, and of course like Daimler with the brand Smart, who are participating in this project. And we are providing the mobility service for this project with five electric smart, like five of the new electric smart, um, I'm happy to say that, that people of this residence can share uh, with each other with a close community car sharing. So this is around 70 apartments in there. It's uh, 21 boarding house studios and, listen, 35 parking spots underneath. So almost half of it. And five of these parking spots are, um, th there's our smart sitting. So this is a possibility for us to get in touch with the people there, to, to test our service in a real environment, to talk to the people. And that has always been like one of the most important things for us and to the core of our hearts. Talk to the people and uh, make life easier in the city, also for different species. You know? We want to make people who live in the city happier with our services, and uh, you can only find that out if you talk to them. That's how you keep up in that digital business. Go from digital to analog, right? And talk to the people. So, 
There is only one message I uh, want to leave you with today, and that is if you have a vision, if you have something where you want to go, look at your actions today and start to realize your vision today. Because the best way to actually predict the future is to create it, right? So let's start with it and have fun. Thank you very much.